Hi everyone. Firstly, I'm sorry for the previously uploaded video that had no sound. Um, this one should have. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to build a plight model using Nansus. Uh, the problem here is an aircraft wing with a triangular shape. You got the dimensions of A and B here, and the fixed support on, on, on the A side. So what we start with um, a model analysis. So before we go into the geometry, I just want to show you this engineering data. So you double click, you go into your material settings. And um, so obviously you can always edit uh, any of the properties of the, st uh, the structural steel, which is a default material. But uh, you can also look into a material uh, library. So in that engineering data source, you have a series of materials, including general materials. Under that, you see our aluminum alloy, which is added that in. And if you're interested in the density, the Young's modulus are given here, so you can use them later on in your calculation. Um, so we just close that, and uh, so we go into the geometry. So for the geometry, I'm just going to show you another way to create your geometry, um, especially if you have a fairly simple geometry. So if you just click the plan you want to draw in and uh, look at, then just sketch. So you can you can sketch. We, we just draw a triangle. So for now, we don't need to worry about uh, uh, the, the dimensions. So then we go into dimensions, um, which is say uh, this is 3.07. Oops, 3.07. Sorry. And um, this one is 2.07. Oops. 2.07. All right. So that's our triangle. Then we'll go back to the model and we see we have a sketch now. So th the second step is we want to create a surface from the sketch. So just do that and then we'll just select the surface. Apply. And if we regenerate, well, we have created a body, a part. So that part, we can give it a thickness. So now we have a surface uh, body. So that's for the geometry. Then we're going to go into model. So in that model, um, we just like before, we're just going to define our boundary conditions and mesh. Um, so mesh, we have a mesh sizing. Just select that. And so uh, we define our size to be 0.5 meter. And uh, we just generate the mesh. And to see the mesh, um, just by by enable the mesh view, so you can see the mesh. And um, then we just need to define our boundary conditions support. I will fix it then here. All right, so just insert the total deformation and solve it. <coughs> All right, you see we have uh, quite a few of natural frequencies been solved. Then, then that's uh, that's the first step. So remember, our first natural frequency is about thirty point two. Uh, sorry, thirty two hertz. All right, so next step we need to do is. We do a structural analysis to um, to see the uh, tip mass effect. So basically, we want to find out the effective stiffness of the wing. And then use that we can calculate. Um, if we only consider the mass, we could ignoring the mass of the beam. So sorry, the wing. Then what is the frequency? Um, so basically, omega. Cos u square root e on l. 
then we can use Dunkley's method to to actually calculate the um, the natural frequencies after you added the point mass. And just similarly, we define the boundary conditions and mesh. Then we want to add some point. Uh, sorry, no, we want to add a load. So we want to add a load to the tip of the beam. So the load is a force. Uh, similarly, we just add that force to that point, and uh, the force is a component. Um, it doesn't really matter how much force you put on, just be not be too much because if the force is too much, uh, you're gonna be non-linear effect. So you you won't have a linear uh, stiffness. So after the force, we're gonna look at the deformation of the stiff point. So we add a deformation, and we want to see the deformation in z direction, and then we can solve it. All right, so we can see our deformation is that big, and if we use the force uh, divided by this deformation, we're getting the stiffness. Sorry, before I jump into the next step, I forgot. Remember, uh, we we created a a material which is aluminum alloy. So here we just want to assign this material to to this body. So this uh, material assignment is uh, still structural steel. So we want to change it to aluminum alloy. So we want to resolve it. Okay. So now we have the static deflection here, and we use that force divided by this static deflection, you get your stiffness. Then you can use that stiffness to then calculate the, um, use Dunkley's method to calculate the natural frequencies after you added the mass. So this, the last step is to double check your, your answer. So basically we created another model analysis with the tip mass, So everything is uh, the same. We just add support, and um, and I'll just add the material, and then we're just trying to solve the total. So the the only thing we need, need to change is add a point mass. So you click geometry, you got a point mass. Then you just say, well, we want to apply that mass to the a tip of the wing, and so uh, what? How much is the mass? That's 500 kilogram, and uh, we can solve it. All right. So now we see our natural frequency has dropped to 10.6 uh, from, if you remember, is 32 something hertz due to that mass. And hope you got your Dunkley's method predicting pretty similar frequency. And uh, that's all for this part. Thanks for watching.